do this again. <laughs> so I just did one for my GameCube. You can go over here. But today we're gonna do four. Uh, let's see. There's Xbox Six right here. So the virtual white one. In case you wanna know that. Anyways, um, let's start with this. This is my collection of games for my 360. This is um. Halo the Master Chief Collection. Eh, no, um, no, it's not. I'm being a dude. That's Halo Family World Anniversary, which came in Halo Reach DLC. And then, uh, oh, there it is. Assassin's Creed 2. Or 3. Assassin's Creed 3 Disc 2. Absolutely my favorite Madden game of all time. And I'm not a big fan of Madden, so. Okay. Here's the actual Assassin's Creed 3 game. If you want to know that. Here's, um, here's Tropico 4. Four. Here's a firm copy of Modern Warfare 2. There's a very, very di bad disc scratches in the game. <laughs> As you can see, you can also see my reflection. This is like a mirror. Yeah. Now, now it's red. Now we have a GTA 4, and I do have DLC for it. It's an MPG game. It's, um, here's um, a Halo 3 completed multiplayer experience. Except I don't have the uh, Halo 3 as team, which is the game. A least favorite man game. Madden 11. Probably didn't see it. We have Tetris Evolution. Or THQ. Call that free. Now, speaking of Bethesda, which I said nothing about, but speaking of Bethesda, how is the room? How about that? Ooh. I also have Halo 3 in my Xbox 360. Uh, is Duke Nukem Forever probably like the biggest disappointment of all time for the Duke Nukem series? I think. Of course, yeah. yeah well, of course, you know. You knew I was coming from a 13 year old boy who's played his shared pictures of it before. No, I don't play it a lot nowadays. My absolute favorite Call of Duty games. And I don't like Call of Duty at all. I like Halo more, but they still play some Call of Duty games. Introducing Call of Duty Black Ops. You have to admit, this cup's not really that black. I'm getting triggered. This cover's like. Now, if you want a black cover, here's a black cover right here. The Rainbow Six Vegas. From 2006. You have to admit, this is actually a good game. For when it came out. This is when Ubisoft kept, uh, actually, you know. Gave two cents about the games, but here's one of my least favorite games of all time: Ruse the Art of Deception. Yeah. Why not? Left for it too. You know, Valve, Valve them. That's the only actual game from Valve I have. Uh, what is this? Yeah. Fable Three. No. You can see I'm multi-talented. I am talking and irritate you at the same time. Just point at my nipples. <laughs> that was so weird. Forza Met Support 2, or AKA Forza 2 Met Support. Depending on the way you want to read it. Eh, well, might as well show it. Uh, here's an actual Xbox Live game. From 2005. It's, uh, Madden. Uh, 2005, and it's from 2004. I hate it when um, like game companies name their years after stuff, and they like they name it after years, but they don't actually create it in that year. Like Windows 95, that was made in 1995. Windows 2000, I think it was made in May 2000 of that year. <sighs> Happy Mickey 2, the only Disney game I own. 
Actually, it may have maybe a line. GTA, the actual game itself. G GTA 5, I should say. Um, here's another game case, by the way. A soccer game case. Um, oh my, uh. I don't like Lego a lot. I don't like Lego movies. I like the concept of Lego. And I don't like when they make games based off Lego. And they they based it off Lord of the Rings on all things. I'm sure whatever floats your boat. But you know what floats my boat a lot? Baseball 2K8. And actually, to be fair, I don't play baseball at all. I like the game because it's fun. Speaking of fun, this one that's not fun, then to Madden 2008. Which is actually in 2007. And here's obviously Rock. Or since I'm a Rockstar fan, I have been basically in my living room. Technically, not my living room, it's my mom's house. And dad's house. Red Dead, Re Red, De Red Dead and Redemption. Yes, it's, it's Red Dead and Redemption. And also the zombie DLC and multiplayer thing. Except I can't play multiplayer, and it's really, it's, 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 a, it's an original thing, it's the original game console. Isn't it? Evil 6, probably um, the second biggest letdown of Capcom, or something based off of Capcom. And then, uh, there's um, <laughs> Rising 2, this is also from Capcom. I heard Ted Rising. I heard Ted. I heard Ted Rising 2. I heard Dead Rising 2 had um got some controversy because they promoted like Playboy porn magazines in the game. Yes. Now we actually get to the ones that I have game cases for, and I even though the ones I've shown already already have game cases, if I even speak properly, game cases they are, do have those, but the problem. Is that they were very dirty when they came in. I mean, not when they came in. I had them, and I thought I don't need these anymore, and I just put them in there. But what I needed, I needed those game cases all along, because don't you really love the feeling of snap opening this? But, anyways, here's um, another Professor thing Oblivion. And I think this also comes with a map. Yes, it comes with a map. My stomach. It out and uh, this is from a uh, GameStop. This is a uh, <laughs> GameStop. This is from the Florence Mall in Florence, Kentucky. Yeah. I don't know why someone gave this to me. And uh, somehow they messed up. This is Oblivion One. This is Oblivion Two. There's no difference between the ones except one of them has a couple like. You know, finger stuff, but other than that, that's pretty much it. This is how it looked like. It looked. This is just it without the extra disc. They like jammed it on there, so it had an extra disc. Alright, that there was someone else put an extra disc in there. Well, that's what it looks like. But you can't really tell. Unless you actually snap it open and look at it. Well, <laughs> yeah, no. This is the same thing. Man, ten. No, I'm just showing the game case. But for some reason, whenever I see these little holographic things, oh, this is Payone too, I guess. And also, I guess it doesn't really snap, but it still closes. Whenever I see these little things where it's like holographic, they always case them up. And um, this is actually backwards compatible, but the Xbox I don't know is not backwards compatible with it. Oh, um, www.ub.com and uh, sure. CSI Crime Scene Investigation. One well, of my favorite shows. And then, uh, cool case. Jesus, this, this is a thick, a thick Xbox game. And, um, oh, if you really want, you can uh, take these print logos. There's a lot of print logos right there. So in case you want that, and that's the game case for you. 
These ha this has like a one on it. If I can even show it to you properly. If you saw it. I'll I like this right here. This do you know this was made in uh, 2004, I believe. Look at this. You you have like you you have players one. This can't work on memory unit. Custom soundtracks. In game Dolby Digital. Uh, system link. HD HD TV. 720p. The only one that's check mark is player one. I thought that just something like that. <sighs> now we start getting to the weird, uh, bizarre movie based games. And to be fair, I haven't played any of them. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you this. Now, I don't know if you can. I think this might be fake actually. Not a fake, but. So if you. Judging. If you look at this, it doesn't look too bad. Looks kind of normal, but on my side of view, the the cover art around it, the cover art around it, is like pixelated and all. I think I think everything else is the same. The WB Games logo is also pixelated, except these are games. Like, I think I might own a hacked version of <laughs> Legend of the Guardians. The owls like a hole, like a hole. This is also this is a game. This is GameStop. I heard that it's pretty young apparently. But GameStop. Speaking of GameStop, Rise of the Guardians, a movie I have never even heard of, unless it's a TV show, and I haven't heard of that either. And uh, let's try to read this. This is they have like these Spanish things. I'm gonna try to read it. Just by this, El Sovas Online. El Sovas Online. A power Xbox 360. Le service in Glingapore Xbox 360. Wonderful joke. Be <laughs> um, free publisher. I never. I think I've heard of that before. 2012. This was also made at the time of Microsoft's new logo. You can see that. And um, it was also the time. Oh yeah, that was a lie. This is a probably actually. Now to be fair, this is this is my uh, second Disney game I own, which is also GameStop related. But this is also the only one that I have, which is Connect compatible. I don't have a Connect. This is Brave. Probably a. Uh, oh shoot! What the heck is this? Oh look, Brave. Okay. Uh, oh, it's one of these things. They, like the Walt Disney movie stuff and all that. You know what, I'm, I'm probably not ever going to use this. And it, by this point, it's probably expired. And, but, um... I'm choosing if I should show it or not. If you really want me to show this to you... Hold on, if I can... Let me go. Let me show this to you. Just what the ex the thing the code is, and um, I can do that. I'm probably not gonna do that. I might I might as well see what this whole Honeywood movie thing. And uh, what is that? what even is this? <laughs> wow! Here is your free admission to see Disney Pixar Brave. Yeah, this is totally expired. Up to eight dollars towards. The purchase of one general admission the ticket to see Brave at Parts of Theaters. All this is, they're trying to make you watch the movie, but you probably bought the game after the movie came out. And also, there's a website, Disney Brave Game. I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist now, something like Space Jam probably won't exist sooner or later. <laughs> Look at this image. Look at this image. This image is weird. I wanted at Disney had a weird fetish with like bear stuff. Oh. Look at that. This is uh this is um Jurassic Park for 360. I'm just kidding, it's probably 
that was like the worst joke I've ever made, and I'm just copying it off ABGN. A great case. It's, it's a platinum hit, so it makes sense. Uh, if you really want to get a dark cover, just look at this. And, uh, speaking of like, modern, that's Modern Warfare 1. Modern Warfare 2, I showed you that earlier. Modern Warfare 3. And then. It's like they took, uh, I know this is artwork, like, well, you know those little, um, there's like a thing where you, <laughs> if, if it wants to go out, I almost broke the disc, I kid of, <laughs> as well, I've been seeing a theme lately, that I've been getting some fix on, I'm also fat, so, um, here's Modern Warfare, <laughs> this is Modern Warfare 3, and it's like cover art. Feels like they just took the um, first this game. Like that. Uh, Dragon Day Origins. I have a. Um, I don't have the second one and the third one. So there's EA, and Bioware, and uh, 2009. Love. I have The Sims. <laughs> Imagine I have The Sims for PC as well. Except I don't have it on my it on my PC. If I did, I'd be. I wouldn't like it. Time? Now, if you thought that was long, look at my controls. There's not a lot, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Now, hold up. Before I show you these controllers, I have to use stuff like this. Actually, this is empty, but. These are where you put your batteries in, because I don't have a charger for my actual 360 batteries. So here's your standard controller. You have your good old um, white Xbox controller. Makes sense. Uh, joystick has been through a lot of use. It's really like out of place now, but that's that's just <laughs> that's just what's going on. Uh, some of the the RT and LT is yellow right there. That was the inside of it, and uh, that's pretty much all I think right there. I feel like this game case is all full. And uh, uh, oh, one while what I was doing here, this has um. A clear Xbox logo, so I can look at myself all in the Xbox logo and make weird faces. <laughs> I know. This is their standard black controller. Pretty much the same concept. I, except I don't use this. Imagine playing your Xbox controller. And you look at your controller and you see yourself. It's a weird. It's just weird to see that. Here's the controller that I use daily. And the one that has actual batteries, uh, and on terms of batteries, they're freaking Duracell. Um, oh wait, good job for, uh, doing that. What is it? Oh wait, no. Opposite. Um, anyways, this is the actual controller I use for, um, playing games. Uh, I've actually, for so much use with this, I've actually kind of smoothing out the joystick somehow. Uh, sadly, it's not a, it's not a non optic thing. And I think I might have took the RT button. Listen, man, it's kind of like that. I'm trying to hear it. Uh, guess what it is? It's another reflectic, reflectic. Yeah, reflectic. It's another one of these Xbox 360 controllers, which are reflectic. This is also very dusty. Now that I think about it, this is pretty much the same thing. It's kind of been smoothing out after the use. And um, here's the one, no, a wired controller. From rock candy and PDP, but who cares about this? So yeah, I can just plug that in. I've tried it before. I can't really get it to work. Not because it's probably because I wasn't playing a game. I was just using my laptop for real. But it's your standard controller. Starting back buttons are a little weird, and it's it's rock candy. It's pretty much like it's like cocaine. So they say cocaine, but um. Now that's that.
Now, I already have a hard drive on my 360, but here's some, uh, uh, how am I going to, I think you can tell what I'm about to do. I have two other ones. I don't know which ones. One of them is, like, from my brother, I think. I don't know which one that is, and the other one's just my old account, which used to have Xbox Live before I had them. Before, before, let's just say we had some very bad memories of a certain, like, ring that appeared on your Xbox. If you know what I mean. And actually, that's pretty much it. Yeah. It's, it's 20 minutes. I've been 20, 42, it's been 20 minutes. I've been recording myself just talking about Xbox. Just, what am I doing in my life? I'm just talking about hard drives. Anyways, I guess I'll see you later. I used to. I almost forgot one thing, and I'll be right back. There's more controllers. One second. Scr Scratch that. I still have a couple more things to show you. I do have the Minecraft case, and it has been cleaned, but this was my old case. I guess it's just a new one that came with it. Oh well. I just forget. And, uh, let, let me just show you this. It's a, what do you, this is a Guitar Hero controller. Um, I've never really, um, I tried to get into Guitar Hero, and I haven't been doing that. Because, um, the only game I got, which is technically World Tour, but if you open it, it's a really Guitar Hero free Legends of Rock, rather than be just like a DLC thing or something. And there's also a wireless guitar controller. This is the what you use for Guitar Hero 3. I'm not really sure about that. Maybe I've lost control on my microphone. But I've tried, I was trying to get this to work. Um, but I, I couldn't get Guitar Hero 3 to work. Maybe I'll try it out and I'll, if I keep doing it, I'll probably make it work. But this is. I don't know how how do people get into this? I mean, I it is I understand the point. But I don't understand like like what what's this? What does this have to do with guitars? Um now we thought one was enough. Oh no. Oh no. I got the second one. Which is um I'm pretty sure this is the world tour one. This one's in bad shape. <laughs> and if you really want, there should be like a strap. Yeah, there should be a strap. I think there's... Hold up. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, it's unlocked. Lock. Oh. There's no batteries in this. I'm pretty sure there is batteries in one. Huh? Did you hear that? That's like an actual guitar noise. It's like bow, bow, um, and bow, bow, um, and bow. Uh, I think this one. I'm not sure if this one has guitar here on it. <laughs> I'm. It, of course, it has guitar here. This one doesn't even have a cover. Well, obviously it doesn't. But this one, the well, question is, does it have the wine? Oh, it's even louder. And now I have to put all these back, which is going to be a very interesting process. But anyways, I guess I'll see you later. And um, if you if you see a clown near your area, please kill it. Thank you. Bye.